this is Dr. Anna Pachowski! Um, and you are a material scientist. Yes, That's correct. Right. We've been looking at the science of what? The science of things that flow. Yeah. So last episode we were looking at things that flow that are liquids, yeah. but actually other things that aren't liquids can flow as well. So solids should be able to flow. Mm, it's a weird idea, isn't it? Yeah. Weird. Okay, so, uh, so we've got four different um, chocolate fountains here, uh, stacked with uh, four different things that are not liquids. First, let's have a little look. Let's turn it on. So this looks like rice. Yeah, this is risotto rice. <laughs> and I'm Hot having bag. to hold it down here a little bit. It is quite bizarre. It's being churned up by the auger. So the auger is the spiral. Yep. It sits inside there. And it is flowing. It is flowing. Kind of like a liquid. Kind of. <laughs> so does that mean... Ah! <laughs> so, uh, so does that mean it is a fluid? Yeah. So a fluid is the word that we use for anything that will flow. So that could be a liquid, that could be a gas, or it could be little tiny solids all together that flow like a fluid. As an engineer, we would model a fluid like these rice grains in the same way that we would model a fluid like water or like custard or like any of those other liquids. Which is a weird idea, isn't it? Because you kind of think as fluid dynamics as, the, as, as water, how, the, you know, how water moves, but no. Yeah, but I mean, aeronautical engineers looking at air will also use fluid dynamics. Yeah. And that's, yeah, also a fluid. But maybe not chocolate fountains. Um, <laughs> Next, we've got... We... <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not working. This is sugar. Exactly, yeah. next we've got sugar. Yeah. Oh, something's happening. Oh, going up there. Whoa, oh, it's going to blow, it's going to blow. It's like blow. It's gonna... Why is it so different from, uh, from the rice? Why is it acting different? Well, it's acting different because the grains of sugar are very different shapes to the grains of rice. So the way that fluid dynamics would work in solids is looking at the different friction between the different grains and the different shapes of the grains, the sizes of the grains. Yeah. All of these are factors in how it will flow. Yeah, and the... Uh, Decision on this one is that it's rubbish. Not so great. <laughs> Not so great. All right, so so uh, sugar doesn't really flow. So does that mean it's not a fluid? In this yeah, case, yeah. In this case, uh, yeah, we'd say it's probably not so much of a fluid. Yeah. So don't put sugar in your chocolate fountain. Um, okay. What's next? This looks very much like sugar. Okay. Next up, similar to sugar, similar shape and size. Hey, there there we go, there go. So here we have a Christmas fountain. <laughs> and <laughs> actually, it's working much better than the sugar. <laughs> Uh, uh, it's flowing, yeah, but it's less of a fountain. It's literally going all over my kitchen. More of a kitchen. Christmas explosion. <laughs> it's, it's it is kind of working. Messy, but it's flowing beautifully. So why is that flowing and the sugar doesn't flow? Well, what I suspect is that the, the frictional properties of the surfaces of the grains of the couscous, it has higher friction than, than with the sugar. Yeah. So if you look at the surface of a sugar crystal, it's quite shiny, it's quite flat. Yeah. Whereas this is much rougher, and so they will have bigger friction between the particles of couscous. So the last one is really interesting. Mm -hmm. um, we wondered how this would work. We haven't got a clue, really. Uh, what we have here is a smoke machine. So smoke, uh, this is stage smoke, which is made of glycerin. So there's a little tank in here with glycerin and water. Okay. And so it's actually a vapor. Uh, the glycerin molecules sort of hang on to the water vapor molecules mm -hmm. and they sort of float about the air. And so what we would wonder is, could we make a, a smoke fountain? First batch. So there's smoke in there in the bottom. Okay. Oh, hey! yeah, it's coming out the top. It's coming out the top. But our problem here is it's not, uh, not dropping, really. It's not so much a fountain. Oh, it's not doing too bad. Well, actually. it's flowing uphill, certainly. Yeah. If we stop that for a second and add some ice to Ooh, it. Oh, okay. Um, so see if we can give it a, a, a kind of a decent chance at kind of flowing downhill. Yeah. The idea being to make it cold so that it will want to sink. So it's definitely coming up. Oh, that is flowing. It's definitely yeah. going down the first one. So now it's heavier than air. We've got half a smoke fountain. It's coming down this one. Oh, it's going down the third one. That is a smoke fountain. Excellent. Slightly pointless and yet somehow brilliant. <laughs> Well, we proved that smoke can flow like a liquid. Yeah, so that's um, another thing that is not a liquid, um, but it flows. Absolutely. Another fluid. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Uh, come and see some more of our videos. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, chocolate fountain fluid dynamics videos now. Uh, all a little bit bonkers. Um, but come back and see some more videos. And if you can, subscribe. Thank you. Bye!